Someone is at the front door. Master Sergeant A.J. Himmelrett states, all good advice, doorbells, but what about doorbells? And that low voltage, question mark, lots of questions on that. Well, it's a great question. And actually, there's some good answers to this too. So remember, this has to do with uh, finding the source to shut off the power before we work on something. And when it comes to low voltage, thankfully it's low voltage, so there's a lot less danger in working with that. You typically will never see low voltage wiring actually going to a breaker box anyway. This low voltage wiring, you'll notice the wires are very, very small, like you have in your doorbell here. This is the same kind of wiring that comes from your irrigation system into your irrigation control system. You'll notice that it's all low voltage wiring. But at the top here, there's a larger electrical part. This is a transformer that connects to 110, your normal power source, and it transforms it and steps it down. Two more examples. You'll find the same kind of low voltage wiring inside your light switch that turns on your fireplace, as well as the same kind of wiring you find in your thermostat that goes and turns on your heating and cooling. I'm standing down here by the furnace because it's the easiest and open, most open area we can look at. So this right here, this whole setup is a great example of how low voltage wiring works. So we've got uh, 110 full voltage coming in from our breaker outside, which you don't want to toy with without turning off the breaker. But then it steps inside here to, and inside here there's a transformer, which will step it down and change it from 110 volts to like eight or 12, maybe 16 volts. Like this one right here, for example, this one is a transformer that I know is transforming out of here, taking the 110 and coming out. And this is the actual wiring that goes to the doorbell. So this steps it down to lower the voltage so that that 110 that would kill you is now like six, eight, 12 volts at the most, which is so little that it, it's really not dangerous to work with. Now you can flip the switch, um, but you can also just work with this directly and, and without fear of being shocked terribly. It's, uh, it's not a lot. In fact, we'll take a look and see what kind of shock this is. It may seem a little more complicated because it's a little more high tech than the normal doorbell that you would install on a house or that comes installed on a house. This is the Ring Pro and even it attached with low voltage wiring, it was very simple. Um, I recently installed a Wise doorbell on my daughter and son-in-law's house as well. Same thing, simple installation using the low voltage wiring. While I'm working with this, I've not even turned off the switch downstairs because this is such low voltage. I don't even feel anything. Now I feel nothing. That's severely cool. There's no sensation whatsoever as I work on this. It's stepped down so low that it just doesn't have an impact at all. Once again, I'm Jared from DIY with Confidence. Thanks for the question, Master Sergeant, and I hope that this uh, gives you the confidence to attack it and change your doorbell without much fear of getting shocked. My guess is you've seen much more difficult things um, in your experience than, than facing this doorbell. So without sounding glib or uh, or diminishing this, you got this, you can do it, sir. And wish you the very best. And uh, thanks for your service. And we'll see you next time on DIY with Confidence.